Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, topic number 21 of the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. Nearly there, two videos to go after this, um, nearly finished the course which is fantastic. Um, but looking at database concepts in today's video, so we've got to first look what a, a, uh, a we're going to define what a table is. So a table is simply a two dimensional representation of data that is stored in rows and columns. Very standard. Um, that's basic. A table is essentially a the simplest form of a database. Uh, relational databases. So we've got to know what a relational database is. This is what we're looking at. This is how pretty much every single major database is structured as structured in this relational way. So relational databases consist of more than one table that are linked using key fields. So a primary key key where. Uh, um, Key fields, there's lots of different types of keys, but a primary key is an attribute or a collection of attributes whose values uniquely identify a row in a relational database. Let's have a look at an example. So you can see already this is a relational database because we've got more than one table and they're linked using key fields. So let's let's work out first what the primary key is in this database. So um, there will be there's two different tables, so there'll be two different primary keys. It depends what database we look. Sorry, it depends what table we're looking at first. So, if we're looking at this table first, I haven't actually named the table. Usually, the tables itself will have a name. Um, if we're looking at this table, the primary key has to be an attribute whose values uniquely identify each row. So, the, basically, the key has got to be a number or a letter that's unique down each row so unfortunately I, I shouldn't really have done this but they're all unique but I'm using subject ID as the primary key here because they're unique numbers um, like I said don't have to be numbers I think I talked about this here yes it doesn't have to be a number it could be anything as long as it's unique it can even be a combination of values so for example if we had um, two uh, subjects with the ID of five you could then use um, for primary key as five and maths or five and maths extension and um, that could be your primary key and then the primary key is linked to another table where we've got additional information and then often you'd have another another sorry another key in this table that would link you to a further tables and it essentially branches off um, like that so we've also the the, the, um, the spec doesn't um, uh, specifically say you need to know about a, a foreign key um, which I find unusual because in the in the um, in the uh, spec in the um, specimen paper they did last year because no mo no papers have actually been done um, at the time of recording um, they there was a question about a foreign key which we'll look at in a sec but um, so a foreign key is simply an attribute or a collection of attributes whose values are intended to match the primary key of a different table so um, so the primary key in okay so like I say it, it, it depends on what table you're looking at so if we're saying we're looking at this table we've said the primary key is subject ID and you can see this straight away subject ID on this other table matches this primary key so this is a foreign key this is a primary key but if we're looking at this table instead of this one this is a primary key and this is a foreign key that's quite key. That's quite a key concept in looking at the mock question that came up last year. Um, so this is the question: the two tables, product and supplier, form a relational database used by a shoe shop. So you can see we've got table uh, named product, and you can see um, we've got several columns, several rows, and we've also got another table called supplier. So it asks you to state the primary key of the supplier table and justify your choice. So so. Um, let's have a look at the mark scheme and then I can explain it. So the answer is supplier code. So the reason why this is, um, this question is slightly harder than it would be because you can see, similarly to my example, um, each each um, field is actually, un sorry, yeah, each field is unique in this. Um, every single uh, field in this table is unique. So they all could be primary keys per se, but um, when you look at them, um, when you look at them in this table, the only ones that match are this for supply code again, and therefore it's being used as a foreign key because this is um, it's being used as a foreign key in product because we're focusing on the supply table, and because a foreign key has to match with a primary key, it must be this. That's all it can be. Um, 
essentially, if that makes sense, because none of these are being, so the name column and the postcode column aren't being used in the product table, so they're not being used as a foreign key, um, whereas the supply code column is, it's being used as a foreign key there, and because they have to match, this has to be the, the primary key. It's got nothing to do with unique value, um, as maybe it would apply to another question, but because um, all of the fields in this table are unique, and we're also going to, so I've used fi uh, the, the term field. Look at we've got to look at a few more terms here, including fields. So, a record is a complete set of information or data um, that comprised of fields, and a file consists of lots of records. So, a record may be um, date of birth for um, students at school, maybe medical details, and they'll be combined to form a file on. A person or the school. So a field, this is the single set of data that you get from intersecting a column and a row. That's quite it's quite difficult to define actually. Um, it's literally this this bit of information here because it's being intersected by name and product code. This bit of information, this bit of information. Um, it's easy when I show you. Um, so uh, a query and this is a question that's being asked of the database and we'll it's done using SQL, sometimes uh, pronounced SQL, um, but I would stick to pronouncing it SQL, SQL um, which the next video is all about, so check that out. Um, also, relationship, when we're talking about data, data, uh, database terms, uh, this is the comparison of data in key fields, so data in the two tables are linked. So this means that if one key in one table is changed, the key related to it, so the foreign key or the primary key, must be changed otherwise an error will be caused. So, um, um, go to the last slide, for example, if, um, where's, yeah, so 32, so, um, actually no, sorry, I can't, I can't use an example, this is slightly different, um, but I think it's fairly simple, it's basically the relationship meaning that if one's changed, the other has to change as well, unfortunately that question didn't allow me to really explain it how I wanted to, um, but oh well. Um, so an index is simply sort of like an index in a book. So um, they are often created, not always created, but they often are um, to assist people using a database as it helps them find the information quickly because it shows where um, certain columns and certain fields are in the database. Um, so that's all really for today's video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching um, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time.